Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we will resume uh, this evening's council meeting. Uh, the clerk will uh, read a proclamation of the official results of the consolidated general election from April 4, 2023. Madam Clerk, when you're ready. I, Vanessa Moritz, Village Clerk for the Village of Forest Park, do hereby proclaim that the official certificate of results from the Cook County Clerk for the April 4, 2023 consolidated election for the Village of Forest Park has been received by my office and the number of votes set forth opposite their respective name for the Office of Mayor and Commissioner as listed below. For Mayor, Rory Hoskins, 2,133. John Doss, 1,126. For Commissioner, Jessica Vogue, 2,212. Maria Maxham, 2,183. Ryan C. Nero, 1,940. Michelle Mellon Rogovin, 1,738. Ryan R. Russ, 1,508. Joseph Joe Landgrieve, 1,057. I, Vanessa Moritz, do therefore proclaim that the following individuals are the persons duly elected mayor and commissioners of the Village of Forest Park to wit. Mayor Rory Hoskins, commissioners Jessica Vogue, Maria Maxim, I'm sorry, Maria A. Maxim, Ryan C. Nero, Michelle mellon Bergoven. Okay, Madam Clerk, would you take the roll? Commissioner Maxim. Here. Commissioner mellon Bergoven. Here. Commissioner Nero. Here. Commissioner Vogue. Here. Mayor Hoskins. Here. Public comment. I have none. Okay. Okay, there's no public comments. We're moving to new business. The first item is to designate a commissioner to be in charge and supervise the Department of Accounts and Finance. Uh, is there a motion to appoint uh, Commissioner Maxam to have charge of accounts and finance? Uh, Nero made that motion. Thank you. It's been moved by Commissioner Nero. Is there a second? I'll second. It's been seconded by Commissioner Vogt. Discussion? Commissioner Maxim, discussion? Yeah, um, thank you for the nomination, Commissioner Nero. Um, you know, for a long time, things have been done according to traditions, but sometimes traditions aren't the, don't make the most sense. And if we're talking about putting someone in charge of a department, it makes a lot of sense to look at the skill sets that a person has. Um, I have an undergraduate degree in accounting. I worked for Arthur Anderson for several years. I have taught college level business math classes and for the better part of the past decade I have been and still am um, an accountant for a doctor's office in Oak Park on a part time basis. Uh, I have amazing relationships with all the department heads and I feel I would be a true asset in this position. Thank you. Is there any further discussion? Yeah, I have a question. I appreciate you mentioning tradition. I know traditionally they've given accounts and finance to um, the person who received the most votes. Um, there's always been talk about these different departments and who's in charge of them and if they bring special qualities or skill sets to them. Um, I do appreciate your educational experience. Um, I will say that in my line of work, I am actively managing budgets every day. They vary in size from a couple thousand to hundreds of thousands of dollars um, to deliver product on time and under budget um, more often than not. So we do have experiences that are of value to all of these positions. Um, we aren't applying for Tish's job. Um, we're applying to provide oversight of a department and support to that department. Um, so I believe your, your assets are valuable in our budgeting meeting um, and at these meetings when we're talking about things. I think it's also important to look at actual track record. Um, I have a proven track record over the last four years of um, delivering things to this village that have um, led to, I think, long-term financial saving, savings and growth like the tree survey, which identified a lot of issues. And it's something that I managed objectively and impartially by working with sales to reduce his budget so that we could pay for that matching grant because I knew how important the tree survey was. 
I think it's more than just looking at education or a couple of jobs, but it's also looking at our track record. And for four years, I've worked very hard for this village and I've delivered actionable items like that, like the fleet management plan. Um, I'm a little confused as to, this seems very predetermined. I knew nothing about what was gonna happen today walking into this, um, and you all seem to, um, which is disappointing. Um, I would like to know why all of a sudden you in particular want to leave your position. I'm very surprised. I know that you ran saying, I believe so strongly in mental health, please reelect me so I can continue this good work. And you were reelected to that position if we're going by vote totals. So I'm a little taken aback right now. Sorry if I'm, I'm sort of riffing on, on my thoughts, but I'm a little confused as to why we're going in this direction and why this was decided without even discussing it with me. The council selects what commissioner assumes what role. Um, there has been an informal tradition uh, about how certain roles were decided, but that's not codified in statute. That tends to serve a majority. Uh, so it, it doesn't bind this council. Um, I believe that you have had time to discuss your preferences with commissioners, whether you had a substantive conversation with someone or a very brief conversation with someone. Um, the council is prepared to vote. And part of this role is to have relationships, working relationships. And sometimes uh, board members don't build sufficient relationships. And sometimes those board members are not selected to lead. And whether you're confused or whether you're just uh, disappointed, uh, in this case, uh, commissioners are free to talk. It doesn't violate Open Meetings Act. Um, and so there's nothing really else to say other than uh, the council will select which commissioner will head what department and we'll all move forward, we'll work together, and we'll try to make Forest Park a better place and improve on the work we've done in the last four years. I have one other comment. Um, and I hope, unfortunately, that this is not punitive because I chose to run independently. I don't know if that is what you mean by building relationships. So um, uh, we're not going to make this political. We're not talking about elections. We're not I talking about that. campaigns run. Um, you're welcome to talk with commissioners after this vote uh, to talk about how we can work together and move Forest Park forward. But um, we're, we're not going to rehash uh, conversations related to politics. We're not going to do that. I have one comment. You can make your comment and we're going to vote. Um, I do think that. Um, it's important to remember that maintaining independence is crucial for building trust with the community and ensuring the integrity of one's work. Um, you know, when a large portion of a candidate's financing comes from the mayor, it unfortunately calls into question that commissioner's ability to function independently. So we're not and going to talk about the, the elections. We're not yeah, talking about like, politics. Like you're, you're out of order if you're talking about the elections. I would like okay. to finish. If you finish and stay away from elections, that's fine. Well, I may not have the support of this council. I know that I have the support of the village, and I appreciate their confidence in me because I ran as an independent voice for the people, and folks responded to that. Collaboration, transparency, and accountability are essential to effectively meet the challenges we face. I had hoped that we would be able to support each other and move forward. Um, but absent following tradition, or the will of the people, or my proven track record for four years, I believe Commissioner Nero would be a sensible compromise. 
professional, he's a team player, and he's made decisions that are in the best interest of Forest Park. And he's made a commitment to truly addressing the financial issues that are facing this village. I would be happy to stay in public property. We've done great work. We're, I, not, we're I, not on public property. We're I understand that. I'm, I'm just making my case. Um, because this isn't about me or a power play. This is about what I think is best for the village. And I would like to amend the motion to appoint Ryan Nero to Council Finance. So we have a motion to amend the main motion. Is there a second to the motion? Okay, I don't hear a second to that motion. So the motion fails for lack of second. We're back to the main motion. Is there any further comment? Commissioner Melinda Um I, I uh, just want to say that um, having you know, during during this whole process and being a new commissioner, um, uh, it's a learning process for me. I um, have uh, tried to garner a lot of knowledge and experience um, from my fellow commissioners, but also um, from resources about how, uh, you know, like websites, et cetera, about how this process goes. Um, and uh, just you know, finished my Open Meetings Act training, and you know, I, I decided you know I really wanted to um, come in today with an open mind as to um, how to you know, and I wanted to hear how this process was going to go today uh, before I voted um, on who was going to take what position. Um, you know, taking in all of the understanding of how, you know, what role uh, statutes play, what role tradition plays, um, and and what role uh, past precedent plays in this process. Um, so as a new person, not having an experience in the past, um, I just want to say I truly came in today saying uh, I wanted my thought process and my uh, my decision making to be part of you know hearing what happened today and making my decision accordingly um, so I you know I, and, and the fact is we have people with lots of experience and knowledge and uh, skills who could do a good job um, so uh, uh, to respond and to say it is a hard decision I, I personally think this is a very hard decision to make, um, which is why I, I literally, walking into the room today, I, I don't, I didn't know, and it, it's a very hard decision for me to make how to vote. Um, and uh, so, um, so I don't know it's a done deal. <laughs> it wasn't a done deal for me, I can say that. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there. And um, uh, so it wasn't decided for me when I walked in the room. And that's what I wanted to put out. Madam Clerk. Commissioner Mas Maxon? Aye. Commissioner Mellon Rogovin? Nay. Commissioner Nero? Aye. Commissioner Vogue? No. Mayor Hoskins? Aye. Commissioner's next item is an ordinance designating the commissioner in charge in the supervisor of the Department of Public Health and Safety for the Village of Forest Park. The chair will entertain a motion to appoint uh, Commissioner Ryan Nero to have charge over this department. Is there a motion? I'll make that motion. Thank you. It's been moved by Commissioner Maxham. Is there a second? Been seconded by Commissioner Nero. Discussion? Sure, 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 Mayor. So I think the hard part really is over, right? I mean, all of these candidates up here uh, put in the work uh, for the last, I don't know, four or five months, canvassing the neighborhood, putting themselves out there, attending forums to get to this point. So regardless of what happens here, 
Uh, it's about moving forward as part four. Um, I want to key in on, on an important comment that was made, the relationship piece. That's what the business, that's the business we're in. We're in the business of relationships, right? The business of getting along and moving the village forward. Uh, and I think that's important. And I think that's probably what drove a lot of people to the polls and, and, and the results are uh, what you see up here. Uh, that being said, I would be remiss. Um, I did enjoy the four years uh, with Sal Stella and Public Works. They do a great job. Director Stella is, is phenomenal. He's got a great team. Um, but I think it's time for me personally, uh, professionally, and uh, for the village to, to really leverage some of my other skills. So uh, for those of you that may not know, I have over 20, uh, 22, 23 years in the construction industry, the building industry, um, three professional credentials uh, tied to professional safety and health. Um, and so I think that fits well with our building department uh, because a lot of that is, uh, you know, understanding code and code enforcement and regulation, which ties very closely to what Director Glicky does. Um, and overall, uh, safety, of course. Sustainability is a big part of what I do, and uh, a big push uh, within my organization is this mental health uh, awareness, which is affecting uh, construction workers astronomically uh, with their suicide rates. So it's something that's very near and dear to me, and all of those things uh, tie very nicely into this particular department. And so I think, uh, given those things, I think all of the commissioners have a, a skill set uh, that they possess that would allow them to be successful in any particular role up here. Uh, but I think it's our responsibility to look at, uh, uh, you know, look at your education, look at your background, look at your skills and ability, what you've done, um, and, and move forward to provide the best value for folks part. Um, and so I think the next uh, move logically for me to serve the village uh, would certainly be in the public health and safety sector. Thank you, Commissioner Nero. Is there any further discussion? Commissioner Maxim. Um, Commissioner Nero, I think you will be great in that role, um, and you will also enjoy the department immensely. I have really, really loved working with um, the small but very, very mighty um, Department of Public Health and Safety. I, I have real love in my heart for um, Steve Glinke and Sandy Nutley and Scott Papalka, none of whom are here tonight, but they're amazing, amazing people who do great things for this town. All right. Madam Clerk. Commissioner Maxo? Aye. Commissioner Mellon Rogovin? Aye. Commissioner Nero? Aye. Commissioner Vogt? Aye. Mayor Hoskins? Aye. Um, I forgot to announce the ordinance number for the previous ordinance was ordinance 0-20-23. This one for health and safety is ordinance 0-21-23. Commissioner Burns, why don't you say something? I, I'm not up there. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to write it down, but I didn't do it Commissioner's <laughs> <laughs> next item is toward this designating a uh, commissioner to be in charge and supervise the Department of Streets and Public Improvement for the Village of Forest Park. Chair will entertain a motion to appoint uh, Commissioner Mellon Rogovin to be in charge of uh, streets and public improvements. Is there a motion? I make that motion. It's been moved by Commissioner Mellon Rogovin. Joyfully. So, joyfully. Is there a second? I'll second. It's been seconded by Commissioner Maxam. Discussion? I was, uh, I'll say that um, I had a wonderful tour today with uh, uh, Director Sal Stella, and I know a lot more about water and <laughs> pumping systems and um, uh, uh, trucks and, and uh, yes, and I'm, I'm very enthusiastic and excited and, uh, but every, and I had a great tour today with uh, Rachel Entler 
and um, met everyone today in Village Hall and uh, I'm very excited to get to work um, but it would be my my greatest pleasure to be in the Department of Streets and Public Improvement. Thank you Commissioner. Is there any further uh, discussion on this one? Madam Clerk. Commissioner Maxson. Aye. Commissioner Mellon Mergovin. Aye. Commissioner Nero. Aye. Commissioner Vogue. Aye. Mayor Hoskins. Aye. This is Ordinance 0-22-23. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Commissioner's next item is an ordinance designating the commissioner to be in charge and supervise the Department of Public Property for the Village of Forest Park. The chair will entertain a motion to appoint uh, Commissioner Vogue to be in charge of public property. Is there a motion? Thank you. It's been moved by Commissioner Nero. Is there a second? I'll second. It's been seconded by Commissioner Maxim. Discussion? Okay, there's no discussion. Madam Clerk? Commissioner Maxim? Aye. Commissioner Mellon Rogovin? Aye. Commissioner Nero? Aye. Commissioner Vogue? Aye. Mayor Hoskins? Aye. This is Ordinance 0 23 23. Okay. Okay, the next item is a resolution honoring Commissioner Joseph Burns upon the conclusion of his term from elected office in the Village of Forest Park. Uh, Madam Clerk, do you have the resolution to be read into the record? I do. <clears throat> resolution honoring Joseph Burns upon the conclusion of his term from elected office in the Village of Forest Park, Cookham County, Illinois. Whereas Joseph Burns was first elected commissioner of the Village of Forest Park, Cook County, Illinois on April 7, 2015, and accepted the responsibilities of the Department of Accounts and Finance. And whereas as the commissioner of Accounts and Finance, Joseph acted as vice president of the Village Council, and he was charged with overseeing the finances of the village, the operations of the fire department, and the operations of the village clerk's office. And whereas Commissioner Burns was reelected on April 2, 2019, and accepted the responsibilities of the Department of Public Health and Safety, having jurisdiction and supervision over the building department, the code enforcement department, and all the inspectors charged with enforcing village health, safety, zoning, and building codes. And whereas Commissioner Burns on July 16, 2021, once again accepted the responsibilities of the Department of Accounts and Finance, overseeing the finances of the village, the operations of the fire department, and the operations of the village clerk's office, and acted as the Vice President of the Village Council. And whereas Commissioner Burns was instrumental in the establishment of a fleet fund putting forth a financial plan to service and maintain the village's vehicles, as well as created a vehicle replacement plan and encouraged strong fiscal management with the creation of a fund balance policy to ensure stable service delivery, meet future needs, and protect against financial instability. And whereas Commissioner Burns helped guide contract negotiations with employee unions supporting fair bargaining and pay equity adjustments for village employees and help the fire department return to the use of in-house paramedic firefighters. And whereas Commissioner Burns was also influential in helping to garner millions of dollars in state and federal grants, supporting a number of projects over his eight year tenure. And under his leadership and in conjunction with the council action, the village benefited from a thorough streetscape reconstruction along both Roosevelt Road and Madison Street west of Des Plaines Avenue demolition of several dilapidated buildings located near the Altenheim residences, adding street cameras and license plate readers to village streets to aid the police department in protecting the community, and the repainting of the north and south water towers. And whereas during a global COVID-19 pandemic, Commissioner Burns was instrumental in keeping the village within its fiscal means, encouraging conservative spending during the pandemic, supporting employee safety precautions, including supplying masks and COVID-19 vaccinations, help facilitate collaboration between local, county, and state offices to bring a Department of Health COVID-19 vaccination site to Forest Park, making vaccinations easily accessible to residents. And whereas over the years, many decisions occurred, small and large, that affected the quality of life for both the residents and the business community at Forest Park, advocated for the separation of the village's combined sewer systems, helping to alleviate the flooding of basements during heavy storms, reconstructed countless miles of new alleys and streets, 
supported green initiatives, including green alleys, electric vehicle charging statement stations, and the single-use plastic foodware ordinance, and supported the re-engagement of the Village's Environmental Control Commission, the Board of Health, the Diversity Commission, and the Youth Commission. And whereas Commissioner Burns served in the U.S. Air Force from 1965 to 1973, where he served two tours in Vietnam and received a Purple Heart for his bravery for assisting fellow injured fellow soldiers to flee to safety while he himself was injured. And whereas Commissioner Burns served as a Forest Park police officer from January 15, 1974 until his day of retirement on July 20, 1999 as Deputy Chief serving the Forest Park Police Department for over 25 years. He also served as a Park District of Forest Park Commissioner for two, from 2001 to 2007, where he was instrumental in rebuilding the soccer field, adding a spray park to the aquatic center, and renovating the baseball fields. He now serves as a Park District Ambassador. And whereas on a personal level, Commissioner Burns has been an active volunteer, helping the Chamber of Commerce with many events, working the grill at the Park District's annual no-glove softball tournament, flipping pancakes, burgers, and more for St. Bernardine School and Church, and whereas Commissioner Burns has been a dedicated public servant, having conducted himself in a professional manner, earning the respect of those with whom he has served and those he has been entrusted to serve, contributing to the betterment of his office and the community as a whole. Commissioner Burns' dedication to his duties as an elected official and the Village of Forest Park is an inspiration. Now therefore, therefore be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Village of Forest Park, Cook County, Illinois as follows. That the Mayor and Village Council for its members and all the residents of the Village of Forest Park extend to Commissioner Burns sincere gratitude for his professional, dedicated, and productive service to the Village of Forest Park and congratulates him upon his departure from public office and wish Joe and his wife Sandy and their children, Tom and Heather, many years of health and happiness. The Village of Forest Park appreciates his contributions to the community. Be it further resolved that this resolution be spread in full upon the minutes of the proceedings of the Council and a suitable copy hereof be presented to Commissioner Joe Burns with the heartfelt thanks of the Village and deep appreciation for his many years of public service.
Okay, Robo's there. Commissioner's next item, uh, next item for approval is ratification of a mental health fair contract for a community art project. Is there a motion to ratify the uh, community art project? I will make that motion. Thank you. It's been moved by Commissioner Maxim. Is there a second? Nero will second. It's been second by Commissioner Nero. Discussion? There's no discussion, Madam Clerk. Commissioner Maxson? Aye. Commissioner Mellon Rebovin? Aye. Commissioner Nero? Aye. Commissioner Bogue? Mayor Hoskins? Aye. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Commissioner's next item is a motion to approve specifications related to solicitation of proposals from masonry contractors to repair the brick wall at the village's pump station located at Hannah Avenue and the Eisenhower Expressway, otherwise known as I-290. Is there a motion to approve? I'll make a motion. Thank you. It's been moved by Commissioner Vogue. Is there a second? Second. Then seconded by Commissioner Mellon Regovin. Discussion? There's no discussion, Madam Clerk. Commissioner Maxam? Aye. Commissioner Mellon Regovin? Aye. Mayor, Commissioner Nero? Aye. Commissioner Vogue? Aye. Mayor Hoskins? Aye. Okay, Commissioners, final item under new business for tonight is motion to direct the Forest Park Board of Fire and Police Commissioners to offer employment to the two next eligible probationary police officers and to promote the next eligible patrol officer to the rank of sergeant due to two retirements within the police department. Is there a motion? I'll make the motion. Thank you. It's been moved by Commissioner Mellon Rogovin. Is there a second? I'll second. It's been seconded by Commissioner Maxim. Discussion? Okay, there's no discussion. Madam Clerk? Commissioner Maxim? Aye. Commissioner Mellon Rogovin? Aye. Commissioner Nero? Aye. Commissioner Vo? Aye. Mayor Hoskins? Aye. Commissioner, that concludes tonight's uh, new business. Where administrators report, Moses? So under commissioner's reports, uh, the mayor has a few proclamations this evening. Uh, I also want to make a couple of shout outs um, in addition to some other comments as well, a couple of updates. Um, so it's very fitting that today's, on today, a commencement of new terms uh, for our mayor and commissioners. Uh, and we just uh, listened to um, Commissioner Burns' career. Um, it occurs during National Public Service Week. Um, so to our elected officials, to our staff, to our government partners, and there's a lot of government partners here in the audience this evening, thank you for being here. Uh, and to our community volunteers, we do have a lot of community volunteers in the, in the audience this evening. Many thanks to you for your service and dedication to the Forest Park community. It's great to see everyone. It takes a, a village to build and operate a community. And we just can't do it alone, so we rely on everybody here uh, to, to build Forest Park, to make it a great community. And in recognition of National Public Service Week, thank you so much. Uh, next, I must also acknowledge that last week was Municipal Clerks Week. Um, so I'd like to recognize Vanessa. <laughs> Obviously, I'd like to recognize you too, Karen. Um, you know, clerks get things done. That's what you said last year. Uh, and obviously, Vanessa gets things done. Um, but I also want to thank not just uh, Vanessa and the clerk's office, Dave, but our finance department as well. Uh, we're understaffed right now, and uh, um, they're working double and, and triple duty. And I know it's been a tough month. Um, you know, a lot going on right now, the end of the fiscal year. Um, and it's also uh, license and, and permit renewal time. So your extra efforts are noted and very appreciated. I know it's been challenging. Um, we can't thank you enough uh, to not just the clerk's office, finance, and everybody in Village Hall. So thank you very much. Um, as I just alluded to it, you know we have we do have some several job openings at the present time um, at the village, uh, including two available firefighter positions that will require testing very soon. So if you or anyone that you know is looking for a new position, either full or part-time, please visit our website, forestpark.net, for more information. Uh, this week, um, paving on Desplaines Avenue uh, will take place, the uh, binder course. And 
I, I just want to say something here because it's a very major thoroughfare. Um, it provides access to I-290. Um, obviously, it affects um, the morning and rush hour evening commute. So just keep this in mind as you plan your commute along this corridor. I, I believe that they'll knock out the binder paving course this week. Uh, and then when the final paving is good, uh, will take place, we'll make an announcement on our uh, website and e-newsletter. I don't know when that's going to take place yet. And lastly, uh, the clerk's office window starting on Monday will only be open during the hours of 5, between 1 and 5 p.m. Again, this is due to uh, staffing uh, shortages in the clerk's office. Uh, the phones will still be on, you know, starting at 8, 8 a.m. Um, but with the window being closed, it allows the clerk's office uh, some additional flexibility to assist with phone calls and other du duties during the morning hours. We're asking that the public, that where possible, please utilize the village's online resources via its webpage to minimize one need to travel to Village Hall. We also have a drop box available outside the front door. Uh, please take advantage of online bill pay options. Again, respective departments may be reached by phone or email. Parking permits will now be available either online or at the parking division window. Um, thank you for your patience and understanding during this time. Uh, that includes my report. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Thank you, Moses. Do you want to read the uh, proclamations for uh, National Police Week or Police Week for you? So we're going to skip the reading of the proclamations, but we are recognizing National Police Week, National Public Works Week, and National uh, Tennis Month of May. Coach Bernard really wanted that to be read in the record. And I want to recognize that we do have a number of elected officials. In addition to our county clerk, uh, Karen A. Yarbrough, we have with us uh, Judge Chloe Pedersen. We have uh, our own Judge Teresa Molina Gonzalez. We have Park District Commissioner uh, Kristen Lyons in the back. And we have our school board president, uh, Shan Wood, and the school board vice president, Moni Cotton. So we're happy to have these units of local government join us today. Commissioner Maxim. I just have <clears throat> a few words. Um, it's, uh, as always, an honor to be sitting up here, as it is every single meeting. Um, but in particular, uh, after being elected, um, I want to thank my family who's here in the room, my husband, Jason, um, and two of my kids, Cassidy and my oldest, Alex. Um, my other son, Toby, couldn't be here tonight. Um, and I also want to thank my brother and my mom and my sisters and my dad who's no longer with us um, and the election there were a lot of difficulties you know in the election and I felt so much support from my family and also from the community who really lifted me up many times over the past six months I went through some very difficult things I want to thank um, Mayor Rory Hoskins you saw something in me when I was with the newspaper and stole me away from them <laughs> and um, You've been a mentor and a friend, and yes, a donor to my campaign. And we haven't always agreed on things or voted the same way on things. But I think that says a lot about our relationship, that we can continue to um, work together for the best of Forest Park, even if we sometimes have different ideas about what that means. And um, I would very much like to say thank you to the department heads and village staff. Um, you have all been advisors to me at different times, and you've supported me professionally and personally. When I came in with the newspaper, I know all of you didn't trust me because who trusts the newspaper, right? Um, but I think I earned your trust, and I um, have the utmost respect for you. And I, you were the ones who work day in and day out to keep this village running, and you do it in a very professional and excellent manner, and I have like I said, the utmost respect for you. And then a very uh, 
deep thank you to the P Department of Public Health and Safety. Um, like I mentioned before, Steve Blinky, Sandy Nutley, and Scott Papelka have been um, friends. They've been advisors. They make me smile when I go walk down there. There's always a joke to be told. And I have learned so much about this village and how it's run um, from Director Glinky, who, as you know, has spent decades serving this town. Um, I'm sad not to be working with them anymore, um, but I will still visit frequently. And um, I am grateful to be here, and I look forward to every single day of the next four years. Thank you. Commissioner Nero. Yes, sir. I would say no matter what name or what title is on the front of the dais here, that we all really kind of overlap uh, over the course of our, our term here, which is good, right? It really is. Um, and what's interesting to me is, uh, of course, I'm excited to get started here uh, uh, with our, our new term. But each, each person sitting up here presents or provides or has a certain set of qualifications and skills that they have had, you know, based upon their walk of life. Uh, their education, their experiences, their family, how they grew up. And I think when you really think about that, um, it provides us uh, different perspectives. And those perspectives help to drive the Village of Forest Park forward. And I think that's what I'm most excited about. And I'm excited to work for you and get things moving here. A lot of exciting things in the, build, in the uh, building department or public health and safety. So thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Nero. Commissioner Mellon McGovern. Yes, um, I'm very excited to be here. Uh, I feel very fresh and new, like a shiny penny. Um, but I uh, am very excited to start uh, uh, learning about streets and public improvement and working with my fellow commissioners and the mayor and uh, making a difference in writing grants and uh, looking at public finance and helping, uh, again, to look at that Venn diagram and how I can collaborate and be a part of uh, listening to residents and uh, making a difference in, uh, in the village in the ways that, um, in, in the ways that we can. And uh, I'm just uh, very appreciative of the voters that uh, supported my, my efforts and um, appreciative that I can be a part of the community that that I, I love so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Volk. Um, I have a few <clears throat> uh, normal business items to, to discuss. Um, we did celebrate our Arbor Day tree planting um, last week, and it was amazing. Um, we had students take part in the celebration. And we've tried to continue that every year, so I want to thank Nurice at D91 for all of her help to make sure that happens. Um, we had some choir members perform during the celebration, and they were fantastic. So a big thank you to D91, Dr. Alvarez, and the choir. Um, and then also a thank you to Vicki Rakowski, the library director, for hosting the tree and the ceremony this year. And Amy Vince kelby the rec board chair, and Alicia Hammond, community engagement manager at the library, for their work in planning the event. Um, and then Jeff Bins kelby who made the little traveling tree that folks decorated um, with leaves that they colored and wrote down poems and reasons why they think trees are important. So thank you to Jeff Bins kelby for his continued generosity and work with the community. Um, we also welcome the Illinois Prairie Path Corporation and Forest Preserves of Cook County, so it was a great event. And then the dog park ribbon cutting was so much fun, and I want to thank everyone who braved a little bit of rain um, and came out and celebrated Juliet Harrington's successful efforts to improve the dog park. Thanks to Director Stella and our Public Works crew for their hard work installing the Agility Toys and giving it a huge deep cleaning before the event. It looked fantastic. Um, and Juliet's speech was so inspiring as she talked about giving to the community and kindness and it was just a really um, uplifting event. Um, and then just to talk about the last four years, um, I'm thrilled to be in public property and continue the work that we've started. Um, I want to thank Salem and Public Works for their professionalism and their hard work um, in a wonderful four years, and I'm looking to forward to four more. Um, and our departments are not islands. We all cross over and, and work together. So I want to thank staff who have retired, Tim Gillian, John Doss, Chief Eftianis, Chief McDermott, along with everyone here tonight, um, Director Deluski, Olmstead, Glinky, Stella, Chief Chipetta, Chief Gross, Clerk Moritz, and Minister Amade. Um, I just want to thank all of you for your leadership and service to this community. 
Um, we've had a lot of challenges over the past four years, um, and there'll be some more going forward, but I believe in kindness and collaboration, and I look forward to working with everyone for another four years. Thank you, Commissioner Bolt. Earlier, I recognized a few elected officials. I think all of the elected officials that I recognized were, were women. This is the time when I will elect, or I'll recognize, excuse me, the male elected officials. We have John Lyons in the back. He also serves on the school board. He's uh, outshone by his, his spouse a lot of times. That's a joke. I'll take it. And then we have former commissioner Chris Harris also with us tonight. Um, having said that, the chair will entertain the motion to adjourn. Miro will make that motion. And moved by Commissioner Nero. Is there a second? I'll second. Then seconded by uh, Commissioner Maxim. Madam Clerk? Commissioner Maxim? Aye. Commissioner Mellon Groban? Aye. Commissioner Nero? Aye. Commissioner Vogue? Aye. Mayor Hoskins? Aye. We stand adjourned.